So Greg, how long was that wait? I mean, mentally and physically also. Uh, I think that's the hardest part is mentally. You know, you want to be out there with the guys. You're still in there in the meeting rooms. Uh, it seemed like it took forever, but you know, I'm glad uh, the training staff and everybody believed in me to get back through it, did in the work, and you know, ready to go now. I believe you were expecting to come back closer than that. Before that, what happened uh, exactly? Yeah, I mean, you always want to get back as fast as you can. You know, uh, sometimes the mental aspect of being back quicker and thinking you're superhuman and you can uh, fight back past an injury and, and, and not take the whole timeline uh, kind of gets to you. But uh, I did take the whole timeline and uh, end up at a couple extra weeks. But there's plenty of time left in the season. Everybody knows the Labor Day is when things start to get going. So glad to be back right before that and uh, get things going again. For mentally or physically on your last few months? Yeah, definitely mentally. I mean, it's tough to be in there and uh, still feel like you're, you know, part of the guys and uh, you're, you're in the meeting rooms and doing everything. But also, you're not with the team on the field, so you're on the sideline over there doing doing the six-game stuff, getting those little workouts in, making sure you're ready to go. So definitely tough for mentally, but you know, everybody supports you, the coaches, uh, front office, uh, training staff, so and, and the guys on the team. So I'm glad to be back. As a new player, what do you think this far into the season? What will you? What do you hope to add? New I player? Mean, new player to this team. New player? This oh, wow. <laughs> feel, making me feel young again. Uh, no, nah, it's, it's team, yeah, no. Nah, I understand. Uh, I mean, you got fresh legs. You should be good for 200 yards. Yeah, a game? Let's yes. see. Let's do it. <laughs> no, it's it's good to be back and, uh, you know, still have a leadership to, to give in the meeting room and talk to the guys and kind of give them their input on how you see things uh, being around so long. But happy to be back out there, you know, happy to practice today and uh, look forward to the game. You were able to see many new receivers doing some good things on the field. At some point, were you a bit worried about what could happen with you? Or? Oh, no. The young guys have been doing a great job. Um, I think everybody's seen that. Uh, they, they've impressed and they, they've improved every week. And I mean, that's what you come on a team to do, right? You uh, come in here not sure if you're going to make the team and you're hoping that you can impress and that uh, you can get onto the football field and, and from there just get better every week. And they've been doing that. So, uh, you know, we've had injuries happen, uh, as every every team does. That's part of the CFL. It's a long season. Um, and it's just my opportunity to step in now and, and uh, help the team win. What's the toughest part of coming back, like, like the game shape? Like, how does that, what's your process usually when you've missed a couple weeks? Yeah, I mean, that's what the workout staff's here for. Um, that's what they put the the treatment, you know, all, all the stuff you do out on, on the sideline and in the weight room. Uh, that's what you're there for so that you don't miss a beat when you step back on the field. But, of course, game tempo, game speed's a little bit different. So it's going to take time. But, you know, you just got to have that dog in you and we get tired, uh, you don't let it show. So what startled you more Thursday night? One first down in the second half or 21 yards of offense? How, did that, how do you think that happened? Well, we had a terrible third quarter. I don't think that third quarter could have been any worse, and it kind of snowballed from there. I mean, uh, it's very, <laughs> it's hard to not get a first down in this league, you know, in a half of football, and probably even harder to get 21 yards only. But I give, I give Winnipeg a lot of credit, but we were, we helped them out a lot. And, you know, two Two second and shorts. We took penalties and get pushed us back to second and long situations. And you know, one you have an, an errant snap or one we couldn't control. And you know, we throw a ball deep on third and two, which you know could have made the play and don't. And you know, if we would have gotten any momentum on either one of those two drives, scoring three points, even seven points, we're right back into a one-score game against them, and with a little bit of momentum. And that's what we needed. We had plenty of it in the first half. You know, we were still down. But sec that third quarter just was to our demise. Yeah. And they're a good, very good first and third quarter team. When you look at the scoring on in the league, we said it before the game. They're, they start fast, which they didn't. We started pretty fast. and But that third quarter, they took it to us. And we just couldn't get out of our own way. And, um, you know, we just couldn't, couldn't muster anything offensively to go with what our defense and special teams was doing. Was that third down play to Mayala, if my memory is correct, was that the last draw? No, it wasn't necessarily that. Um, you know, we were, we're look, we were looked at everything going into this week um, to, to make a change and, and to go a different direction. Uh, I wouldn't never look at that. It never comes down to just one play or one instance. Um, you know, there was some varying circumstances that chose us to go in a different direction there. Mm -hmm. And that different direction is Greg Ellingson now. Well, yeah, I mean Greg's going to be, things. yeah, Greg will be in the in the mix for sure. You know, taking him off the six and you know uh, seeing him healthy is a good thing for us. And uh, you know we'll have options there, which is a great thing. What can you bring differently than Mayella? 
uh, Greg, you're saying, or anybody? Well, I mean, again, you know, you, when you look at uh, someone like Greg, Greg's got a ton of experience in this league. I mean, he's been a number one receiver on a number of offenses in this league. And I, I believe if you're just looking at pure receiving numbers uh, for active players, I think he's as high up there as anybody. So it's the experience that Greg brings to any offense. And I don't just say over my ally, I just say in general, bringing it to our offense. He brings a lot of comfort, a lot of experience, um, and I think we need that right now. So, uh, you know, if he can make it through the week um, healthy, and uh, I think he gives us something. How big of an if is that? Well, I mean, again, he's the reason he hasn't played has been due to health up to this point. But, you know, he's been working extremely hard and, and has felt great the last three weeks. Um, but, you know, we want to keep on pushing the the – recovery and pushing the gas tank and all that stuff and uh, I feel like he's he's gotten to a stage now where you know we had a need and feel like we could use him so uh, you know we'll just have to go out there and, and, and again work hard every day and, and hopefully he's available to us by the end. Do you bring Evans off the sixth game? Siante? Well that's a that's a thought there too so you know uh, you know obviously again another experienced player uh, with Wes going down you know that's a that's a that's an opportunity for us to look at another guy, and uh, that's that's going to most likely be the plan. Is something uh, going to end up on the six game injury? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's too early to say right now. Um, the type of thing he's dealing with, you know, sometimes it's it, it it it's pretty easy to get him back, but it's a it is some time. If he's not, if we don't feel like he's going to be six, or the doctors don't feel like he's going to be six, then we wouldn't put him on there. So if he does go on there, it, it's the thought that it, it may be that long. How about Tyrell Richards? He didn't look too good uh, when he got injured on, on Thursday. Yeah, no. Um, you know, we uh, we got some good news on him, which we, we're thankful for. But, uh, you know, he'll be he'll be out this week, and, you know, we'll just have to take it week to week from there. So, uh, you know, thankfully it wasn't uh, structural, structural damage. It's just going to be something that he's going to have to deal with for a bit, and we just got to make sure, um, you know, before he's ready, that he's ready before he does come back. How has Ellingson helped through, I know not on the field, but through the first 12 weeks, can you give me examples of how he kind of... Yeah, I mean, leadership in the room. I mean, uh, I know the first number of weeks for sure he was, you know, they were doing receiver meetings and he was leading them and helping out with those. Um, he's a good, you know, voice in the, in the receiving room because he's had a lot of experience. So when they're running routes or they're doing concepts that he's familiar with, he's able to you know, partake in those conversations and help out, even with us as coaches. You know, when he sees something, I've always encouraged player players asking for things or talking about things that look like they may be there, particularly guys that have a lot of experience, and Greg's one of those. So he's, he's, he's always engaging that way. And ultimately, Greg's, Greg's a great person and great guy. So, you know, he's, he's stayed involved with the locker room, he's been around, you know, he's been working hard. It's just now a matter of, you know, him being ready to go physically so that he can go out and do some of the things that leadership wise that um, that we need. Is there anything you can do to get there? This offense can can do to get uh, Walter Fletcher more involved. You know, you only well, keeping you, him on the, the field is yeah. what, you know, know the generally. Game got out of hand yeah, Thursday night, but you, you it, dress a guy and he four yeah, plays. Exactly. It's it's that when you run 48 plays only on a night and you don't do much in the second half, it's kind of hard to get anything going. So. You know, and it wasn't all doom and gloom either. There's a lot of really good plays mixed into those 48 that we just don't get anything out of them. You know, there's plenty of very positive plays, but the next play was not. Um, so a Fletch would have, you know, ran into some of those as well. And the, the plan was to go two to one with our with our backfield anyways, to get him a series after Stan had had two. Mm -hmm. um, but again, we weren't on the field long enough to really do any of those things. So. You know, that's always the challenge when you're having three running backs on is getting all of them touches, and that's been very difficult for us to do thus far. And I guess other than the turnovers, there was nothing that you can put your finger on while you seemed to hit a brick wall when it was 17-14 there. Other yeah, the no, I, I think the turnovers were the, the big catalyst to that, and I think the penalties on second and short. Whenever you're in second and two to three, we took a shot on one second and four, and you know we we didn't stand in the pocket well enough, in my opinion. Cody can make a better throw there to Cebusu on the sidelines, and we probably make the play and get us going. Um, but in second and short situations, you a you can't take penalties. If you're going to go down, you're going to go down with running the play, and mm -hmm. a guy makes a play, which they're very capable of that. But we're very capable of getting first downs. The first thing you need to be able to do is a line up, assignment, and technique snap the ball and get it off and we weren't able to do that on two of those plays whenever you go up and against any defense in this league your chance of converting goes about 30 to 40 percent as the 
yards go higher. So when you're in second and two to three, we're at almost a clip at 70, over 70% 70 conversions and anything over anything less or more yards than that is around 30 to 40 percent so you're you're looking at a big drop off if you're not disciplined and that's what we weren't on those two plays we weren't disciplined and it cost us the very next play and i'm telling you the way football is in my opinion it's based on a lot of momentum at times and whenever your defense is playing well if our offense would have done anything in that third quarter a field goal a touchdown a first down we may have just you know, turned it back over to, to, to our momentum side. And then you never know. We just didn't give ourselves a chance. And that was unfortunate.